All right, so it is time for the Robin Guide video. And I'll do the continuation from the last video because I accidentally went a little bit guidey at the end. So uh, what I was talking about is how the Harmony characters in this game were built for quite a bit, right? So... For Ting Yun, right? She gives damage for your team according to her attack. At the start of the game, a lot of people built like 3,000 something attack on Ting Yun, even though she kind of like hard caps at around 2,700, 2,800 attack, right? However, around 2,500 attack versus 2,800 attack, that's like a 50, 60 attack buff difference for your team, right? And then the most recent one was Sparkle, right? With her crit damage scaling on her skill. If you just put the numbers in a little bit, you can see like the difference between like 160, 170 crit damage versus 200 crit damage on Sparkle is like a difference of 82 versus 91% crit damage buff, right? So it's like 9%. The difference isn't that high. Same with Rune Mei. A lot of people build like super high 300 break effect on Rune Mei, even though she's like an ice character. Her passive, she does damage to enemy with their shield broken equal to her ice break damage, right? However, the damage damage difference between 200 break effect rune mei and 300 break effect rune mei is like 11k to like 14k right that's so minimal that you might as well go other stats so that's why for robin from what i see the difference between like 3 600 attack and like 4000 attack is like 1010 versus 1100 attack buff the difference is so minimal i might as well get other stats on her right my fucking harmony character right as you can see my robin has speed this is one of the characters where I would say, yeah, you kinda don't need speed, but I don't have a choice, so she has speed on her, right? And you could also see that because of my fucking disease, I make all of my harmony character giga thick, okay? So my Robin has 1855 defense, my Rune Mei has 2289 defense, my Sparkle has 1815 defense, and my Ting Yun has 1851 defense, okay? I like them to be thick. Everyone complains that their fucking Harmony character gets beat up a lot. If get hit a lot, get more hit points, you know? It's not that hard. We'll just start right off with the, uh, with the buff stuff, right? So now Robin is gonna ult, right? Now that my Robin has ulted, she has like 5,300 attack. But the attack buff is only like 1,156 uh, attack buff, right? If I change my boots from like speed to an attack boots... The difference in attack buff doesn't really go that high anyway. The only difference is maybe because of the light cone. The light cone does give you 612 attack, so that's quite big. Right, so now the attack buff is 1247, right? When I change from speed boots to attack boots. So the difference really isn't that much if you run attack versus speed boots. I can try the different light cone as well if you want to see the attack boots difference. I'll just put on like Bronya light cone or, or something. Now Robin ult. Okay, now that Robin ulted, the attack buff is 956 with 4000 attack, right? Now if I put attack boots on, it should be like 1100 something at best. It was the one with like the 4 speed. Yeah, there you go, that one. Alright, now the attack buff is 1039, right? So as you can see, the difference between attack boots versus any other boots is very minimal. At best, it's like 100 more attack buff for your team. And to me, I think those amount of buff is way too, you know, not too valuable. I might as well go for other stats like survivability or so on, right? So that's why I have uh, my current build on Robin. And as I said, right, this happens with every single Harmony character that comes out. A lot of people try to overstack their stat that they use to buff even though after you get to a certain amount the difference isn't as much anyway right that would be my uh robin assessment for her ult yeah all right now we can go for her actual skill her basic attack does basic attack damage no fucking way okay anyways i'm, I'm gonna start memeing let's uh explain the giant ult Yu-Gi-Oh card that we've been explaining so far with the diminishing return shit right when robin ults she enters a concerto state she buffs all ally attack equal to her attack 
plus 200. And then, whenever an ally attacks, she does damage equals to 120% of her attack. This attack has a guaranteed crit and 150 crit damage that is fixed, so you can't change that, right? This makes it so that stacking super high attack matters even less because she's technically attacking with 120 anyway. A lot of people might be trying to stack super high attack on Robin because, you know, her damage scales off her attack, right? But her buff affects herself and then she already has like 4,000, 5,000 attack times basically 20% and then you have the crit damage on top of that, right? Your damage shouldn't change too much if you overstack your attack too much is what I'm trying to say. Your buff also does doesn't change too much if you overstack your buff too much, right? In the current state, Robin is immune to crowd control effect and cannot take her turn or action until the state ends. This state have 90 speed, right? So this is why a lot of people would be building zero speed on Robin. I would say, yeah, Robin is probably one of the few characters that I would build zero speed on. However, I do not have the, you know, super good zero speed gear, you know, like attack gear. I'm just running her on speed right now because that's all I have, right? So the damage that she does is similar to how Ting Yun does does damage when an ally attacks and when she attacks, it's like an instant, right? Same with Rune Mei as well. They're trying to make Harmony character contribute in DPS. That's pretty cool. And then, you know, Adventuring Preservation character contribute to DPS as well. Stuff like that, right? Anyway, so that's her ult. Her skill is pretty simple, right? She gives all ally, including herself, a 50% damage increase, lasting for three turns. This skill duration only decreases at the start of her turn. So if you want to build her really slow so the buff lasts longer, yeah, that works as well. But, you know, she's already ulting, right? And then her her talent. All ally gets 20% crit damage and whenever an ally attacks she regenerates 2 energy for herself. This 2 energy is also amplified by energy recharge and energy has decimal so you can get like 2.4 energy every time and it fucking adds up, right? That's all her skills and talent. I've never noticed but I think it's a new update thing but you can hit the recommended button and the game will try to show you the talent priority that you should level your character's talent in, right? Is this accurate? Would you agree chat? This is okay. Maybe I'll go for skill and then ult because damage bonus is harder to get. Robin buff every stat, right? She buffs attack, she buffs damage bonus, and she buffs crit damage, right? So that's basically every stat. The crit damage is also a passive forever, so that's pretty cool. Let's go for this, right? This is her first trace. Is this the first trace? This is the second trace. Am I crazy? No, this is the first trace, right? <laughs> Is this the first trace? When the battle begins, this character is advanced forward by 25%. Hence why a lot of people are able to build zero speed on Robin. Because at the start of battle, she gets advanced forward anyway. For me, this is not enough because a lot of my character are fucking turbo fast. So that's why I built some speed on my Robin. Because I don't want to rebuild every character on my account, okay? So I built speed on my Robin. Okay? It's a unique situation, unrelatable streamer, okay? Second one, whenever she's in her ult state, when ally do follow-up attack damage, that follow-up attack damage has more critical damage. So 25 more critical damage. So she gives in total 45 crit damage if you're playing follow-up. And her last trace, when using her skill, regenerate additional 5 energy. So instead of 30, it'll be 35. And then you scale that up with like your energy recharge. So that could be fucking 40, 50, right? Seems good. That's her traces. And she has 28% something on attack, 12% health, and 5 speed, right? Pretty reliable stat because that's all the stats she used right that's pretty comfy so that's why my robin build is like that i got decent amount of hp decent amount of attack decent amount of defense an unnecessarily high amount of speed that's my robin build yeah let's talk about relic because there's quite a bit of shit to talk about in relic okay so i think ideally for the majority of the player base you would run double attack and then an er set or if you want to run an attack set, sure. If your team attacks really fast, you may not need the 5% ER, but I'm not fucking risking it. I've seen so many scenarios where I am 5 energy away from my ult and I got fucking tilted, right? I have energy recharge roll with a lot of defense, like 15% defense. And then an attack or with a reasonable amount of defense. A speed shoe with attack, defense, and defense. Uh, an attack body piece with a reasonable amount of defense and a glove with a reasonable amount of defense so uh in total i think my robin has like 90 percent defense bonus that's why she's really tanky i kind of like having defensive stat on my harmony character i i know i say it a lot but i really do you know i i, I think it's good however it's time to talk about the main stat obviously your body piece you run attack percentage there's no real changes there right you can't build crit damage because her crit damage is fixed at 150 when she ults anyway so the crit damage shouldn't 
matter too much. The unique thing would be boots and orb. Obviously, rope, you run ER. If you want to run attack, sure. So, boots and orb are the unique thing. I've seen people try to run triple attack, and then triple attack is what a lot of people run. But realistically, you might not need triple attack. You can have with like one of the shoe on like the fence HP or another stat if you want. As I've shown earlier, the difference between attack shoe and any other shoe is the difference between 80 more attack buff for your team. So, it really doesn't matter. Diminishing return hits too hard after you have double attack already. I could understand a build where you can run like physical damage or attack shoe, attack body piece to amplify her damage more. However, I think that's also unnecessary because her skill already gives her 50% damage bonus, right? That's basically a physical damage orb already. You can get more. I think that will amplify more damage, but I am under the uh, mentality that make her tanky forehead. That's, uh, that's what I assume I would want on her. But yeah, I think generally triple attack would be the most reliable consistent on her otherwise double attack and a defensive stat right for set bonus you run double attack and an er set right, so let's talk about her fucking stupid light cone but i think at this point everyone knows how stupid a uh, signature light cone is her light cone whenever an ally attack you get three energy recharge up to 15. When you press ultimate, you gain 48% attack and all ally do 24% more damage for one turn. Uh, so your skill plus your light cone would give your ally 74% damage bonus. It increase your own attack. 48% attack for Robin with this light cone would equal to fucking 612 attack. So you get like 600 more attack here. So yeah, this is probably her best light cone. Otherwise, the event light cone, it gives you 32% attack. The flat attack is lower, sure, but the percentage should kind of make up for it. I think it's pretty chill. And it also increased the damage that Robin deals for one turn. And as we say, you know, she doesn't have a super high amount of damage bonus, but this light cone gives you attack and damage bonus during her ult. So I think it's pretty chill, yeah? Wait. You can't get the event light cone after the event goes away, right? Even though the event stays on the permanent window thingy. So in a Robin rerun, it's gonna kind of feels bad. Can you meme with this light cone? <laughs> Can you meme with this light cone? I don't know. This is the battle pass light cone. I don't think it matters. <laughs> this is pretty meme, but like, you know, it's doable. Seems good. Just hit ER during ult. True. Just hit the 30% ER during ult. I did play Bronya light cone on her. You only run Bronya light cone for the energy recharge, right? The reason why her own light cone, in my opinion, is better is because you're not going to really trigger this effect on Robin super well. You mainly use it for the ER. Robin light cone is good on her because stat stick. I'm not even kidding. It's just stat stick. It gives you the triple stat you need. Zero effort to trigger, right? Is Bronya S1 better than Event S5? Depends on what stat you think you're missing. But I feel like Robin really struggles on getting her ult a little bit with non-follow-up team or teams that are simply not fast enough, right? Robin gets more energy the more your allies attack, right? So uh, that is that. She cannot use meshing cogs because it would be too OP because she stun locks herself and she can't attack during her ult, right? If she could use meshing cogs, well, fucking hell, right? Uh, another character with meshing cogs. That's just mainly her option. She can't really use other light cone pretty well. It's just the free event light cone or the two five star over here, right? All right, so let me open up the new funny team comp window. As you can see, I have a very cool name sense the nihility team is just named okay because that's the ix emote of my stream and then a weep for the departed zero points and then lunar flame right seems good okay so team comp for robin in my opinion this is probably the best team comp for robin because the interaction they have is too well topus scales well with dr ratio and if you have e1 s1 topus that's Three unremovable debuff that lasts indefinitely. Topaz can swap target for those debuff as well. The damage amplification of Topaz is kind of fucking insane because she gives you basically a hundred crit damage and a fifty damage modifier for follow up damage at the very end of the formula or some shit, right? And then Ratio just does big damage. And if enemy has three debuff on them, he basically always does his follow up attack as well as do more damage based on the amount of debuff the enemy have. Adventurine and Robin scales well with 
with follow up attack teammates because adventuring follow up attack more if your team follows up attack or if he gets hit or if your team gets hit right so put adventuring in the middle robin gets more energy the more often your allies attack this team is really nice on her i do feel like robin might not ult as often on other team other option would be clara clara follow-ups attacks a lot so clara is pretty good with robin Seely is kind of doable because Seely does have extra turn stuff you can run robin on dot team i guess because she does give attack buff and damage bonus and kafka does have a follow-up attack so if you really want to run dot team it kind of works but i still feel like it might not be fast enough what would you switch adventuring out for honestly see any sustain Fu is pretty chill you know like she's pretty chill it's pretty reliable you know gala works as well if you don't have e1 s1 topaz for more debuff mm. gala does have a debuff on his own oh yeah they did say that they fixed gala ai right does gala ult more often now test it yeah but that'll be a tangent the video is already quite long <laughs> <Fucking> <laughs> hell. Where I am. sorry mr editor <laughs> testing testing all right does gala ult on auto does he ult? He doesn't ult? Ult? Gala? G Gala? Gala ult? Gala ult? Oh, okay, never mind. He just hoo ha and heal himself off the full. Gala? Gala ult? Gala, your your teammates are our hunt character. They're kind of squishy. G Gala? Save your hunt character? Hoo ha, okay, fine. Gala, save your hunt character. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> can you save your hunt character? <laughs> yeah, if they need to be below 50% HP, then his AI didn't change at all. Gala? Who ha? Huh? Yes, yeah, so okay, his AI did not change at all. His AI is still the same. Do I do pure fiction this time? Because I already did MOC last video. I kind of want to do it on second half just to see how it goes. I don't have to use the ratio thing, right? All right, gacha. 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 Oh, fuck. Surely I can brute force this with this team. Alright, Robin. Wait, do you want to hear Robin's song? Okay, let's go. Let's go! No, what do you mean, no? No voices. <laughs> we go again! We go again! We go again! Well, I'm ulting a lot. What the hell? Take it off! The measure of truth. He's all take again. Watch your head. Zero points. Take it off. Wait, okay. Stop attacking Sam. He's dead. He's dead. Stop attacking Sam. He's dead. Auto. I believe the auto play. Stop. 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 Hit anyone else. Okay, fuck. Okay, fuck. They're, they're hitting a, an enemy that's already dead. They're hitting an enemy that's already dead. Knowledge, the measure of truth. Okay, he's ulting another one, I guess. Manual? No manual! No! 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 Okay, fine. I'll, I, I will manual play. They're too pepega. Actually, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Hey! Hey! Adventurine, can you kill the ads? Because Topaz and Ratio is busy bullying a dead enemy? Can you kill the guy right there? Come on, I believe you can do this! You can do this! Nice! Go around! <laughs> Ha ha ha!
Whoa, Pong! Another one, Infinite Song. Infinite Song, I guess. Wow, the auto AI is kind of a pega there, isn't it? They were just hitting Sam nonstop when he's already fucking dead. I got an achievement? Listen to Robin's song more than 10 seconds. Okay. <laughs> sure, I, I, I guess. Robin's new album gave us some trick snack. Trick snack. <laughs> Wait. You can see that they pulled light code and shit? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Yo, exposed whale. What the hell? <laughs> Monka. Oh, yeah. If you play on EU or NA server, you can get one day earlier on the GIF of Odyssey if you log in after the update, but before daily reset. So, now that we're on day two, we have day three claim. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's time to chill today. That's enough recording, right? 42-minute recording. Good luck, Mr. Editor.